Now we're going to remove these two bolts. 14 millimeter wrench. With the two caliper bolts removed, we can jiggle the caliper out of place. Don't let it hang by the brake line. So I'm using this piece of wire. I just want to run it through here. Hang it anywhere. It's safe. It's out of the way. Now let's work on these brake pads. Inner, outer brake pads. All you do is give it a little jiggle. They come right off. Now we're going to remove the inner brake pad the same way. I'm going to jiggle it. There it is. The new brake pads came with new metal clips. If yours did not, it's no problem. These still work. They're just fine. I'm going to go ahead and switch these out just because it came with them. If you want to compare the new and old brake pads, see how flat that is? Here is the new one. There are a few areas that will need to be lubricated. Here are the caliper pins. I can just pull this back and out. Put a little bit of brake, uh, brake grease on it. And slide it back in. And make sure that this rubber boot is attached like it should be. This was pointed straight up and down. On the bottom one, same thing. Make sure that you are always very careful that you do not get any brake grease or any kind of lubricant on the rotor or on the front of the brake pads. I keep wiping my hands off. I don't want to get any lubricant here. I am going to put some lubricant on the back to match the places where the caliper and the piston were contacting the brake pad. This will reduce squeaking. Put grease where the piston was making contact. On this one, the caliper was making contact on the outsides, so I'll basically put grease on the new one to match where the caliper was. Do not get any grease on this side. Just like that. Inner, outer. Rear one pops in from behind. If you line up the tab on the top and bottom, it snaps in. The outer brake pad, same thing. The brake pads are in place. Now it's time to get the piston of the caliper pushed back in so that it will fit over the much larger brake pads. When I say larger, I mean they're thicker than the original ones, so this piston has to go backwards. There's two ways. You can rent or borrow a tool from the auto parts store that will turn this. It's what the tool is made for. It makes it easier, or you can use some even those pliers. It takes a little bit longer. It's actually not too difficult. It's turning slowly. This is going to add maybe five minutes of the brake job, that's quickly running back to AutoZone to rent a tool. It's turning much easier now. You're pushing against all the brakes that are going to pressure, so that's why it doesn't just spin for you. You want these lines, these grooves to be lined up with the groove back here. That way it's straight. That's how it was when I found it. See if it fits. Slide it over the new brake pads. All right, that was easy. Time to replace the caliper bolts. Thank you for watching A Regular Guy Does Stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. I want to try to keep putting out videos that will help you save money doing things yourself. Remember, the Bible says in Romans 5.8 that God shows his love toward us 
in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Now go out and do some stuff.